Hey guys, welcome to lesson 3 of batch scripting, and today I'll be teaching you about markers, the go-to command, and loops. To make a loop, you actually need to know the marker command and the go-to command. So what the marker command does is it just sets a point in your batch file that you could come back to. So how you set a marker by putting in a colon and then naming your marker. I name my marker A because it's easier to do that than make it a really long name. So how do I come back to this? Well, I'll just type in go to, and then the name of your marker, so A. So when I run this, it's going to say hello, hi, and then it's going to say press any key to continue since it's paused. And then it, when I press a key, it's going to go back to here, so it's going to say hi, and then it's just going to keep on going and going. So let's save this. Click file, save as. I'm going to name mine loop.bat. And let me run it. Okay, so as you can see, it says hi right here. And then when I press a key, it should go back to A, which is, it's good, so it's going to say hi. And it does say hi. Then if I keep on pressing keys, it'll keep on repeating that. Now you can even remove the pause command, so it just keeps on saying hi forever. So let's try that. And as you can see, it says it keeps on repeating hi over and over and over again. So that's basically how you use a loop. So, um, I just want to warn you before I end this lesson, do not use a start command or any other command that you don't know um, with a loop, because, for example, if I wanted to open up Google in a loop, that's not really that smart of an idea, because it's just going to keep opening up my uh, browser and until my computer crashes. So, make sure you only use the echo command right now, because you could screw up your computer with loops. So, yeah, I'm just warning you there. I know that this was a really short lesson, but you really need to know this for the next lesson. So thanks for watching, make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next lesson.